is it having such a passionate fan base for your audience? And did you experience that with your prior documentaries? Do you have these moms, these people that are part of the birth community that are... The birth community is amazing. They're super active. And I think part of the reason why they're... Well, no, the whole reason why they've found our film is because they're all fans of Ina Mays. I mean, it was, it was a move that we didn't realize was so smart, but it was smart because we picked somebody that people really love. And so their passion for her and for her work and for, for what they've given her, you know, translated to our film. And so all of this goodwill that she has was like transferred to us, which was really great. Um, and, and so like that helped so much with, you know, international fans and people from Denmark and Australia and New Zealand and, you know, the UK. We got a call from somebody in Antarctica who wanted to screen, not, it wasn't a call, it was an email, um, <laughs> who wanted to screen the film there at a research base. All because she's like, she's globally famous in this particular culture of people. I mean, what is the, I mean, what is the culture of people like people well, who have babies, women, <laughs> people and it's who care about natural birth? And every nine <clears throat> months, you know, there's a new audience, and and people are always finding out about her. So it, we benefit from that. Um, we did a number of community screenings um, all over the world. Uh, right after our premiere at the LA Film Festival, we started doing community screenings. We had it set up so that people could host a screening, invite people, and then those people would go to Facebook or Twitter or whatever and talk about the film. And we would collect all of their email addresses at the screenings. and. Um, we had also done a Kickstarter campaign simultaneously with the pr uh, premiere of the film, um, and it was a 45 day um, Kickstarter campaign to raise money for finishing funds and for the distribution of the film, which we knew would probably be a self distribution model or some sort of hybrid because the content of the film is hard to show on television and so um, we knew that from the outset that we wanted to show birth and no matter what that meant for our distribution um, so so through you know building a player on our site we knew that we could we could get the film out to people in our own way um, so we wanted people to help us do that which they did and they they it was just kind of mind-blowing how we had like 1100 backers and people um, could buy the DVD even though it wasn't coming out for many months later but a lot of the the backers were were um, pre buying the the DVD um, and then the community screenings just have continued I mean they're still going um, there was one yesterday and it's it's been amazing there were a number of them at universities and um, people there's just been really good word of mouth and so that's really helped us and like like Sarah said there's just this love for Ina May there's this love for her books and and people are full of gratitude for her and everything that she's done for the last 40 years so there's also I think there's also even backing it up one more step there's there's people who have had incredible powerful birth experiences are changed by that and Families, you know, who go through that together, men who see their wives, you know, have birthing experiences, you know, or, or go through birth in, in that way are changed by it too. And and so that is really the, the starting point of this passion. You know, it comes from the transformative quality of these experiences and then extends outward to Ina May for helping to sort of hold the space for that and, and, and you know, teach people that it's possible. And then, you know, we also have been the beneficiaries of it, but... Well, I, when I read her book, I remember, I think we both looked for a film about her too. So there is this hung, you know, and it didn't exist, but, so we decided to make it, but um, there is this hunger for this kind of information. So we, in some ways lucked into that. You know, at this moment in time, there's a hunger for information about a different way or a different treatment. Um, and, and so I think we were sort of riding the tide of that as well. Um, because, and, and, you know, had both 
been through that personally. So, you know, it's nice to have that connection to the material and also recognize that in the audience.